dan So guys, uh, in IP before we will talk about in not IP but in the IP communications we will talk about how many types of communications we have. We have a unicast. Sir, recording. Uh, I gave you. Okay, okay, yeah, thank you. The multicast we have, and then we have a broadcast. Right. What is the use of unicast? The unicast is saying that he. One to one communications, right? Multicast is there, one to group communications. Whereas broadcast is saying that one to all communications. For example, one client search, we have another client. Search another client and we have another client. For example, if the PC one right, this guy's IP address 101, this guy's the MAC address A, this guy's IP address 1012, this guy's the MAC address B, this guy's IP address 1013, this guy's the MAC address C, this guy's IP address 1014, MAC address will be D. If the PC one wants to communicate with the PC not to write, this communication is known as a unicast communication. One to one communication is happening, right? If the PC one if the PC one wants to communicate with the this guy, this guy, and this guy, all person that's communication is known as a broadcast. But what happened if the PC one wants to communicate with the this guy to this guy, this communication is known as a multicast because instead of sending the message to the all right instead of sending message to the all what happened i'm just sending a message to the particular person like two person i'm just sending a message to this guy and this guy not to the this guy i like a very good example we have a whatsapp group a whatsapp group is a very good example of the multicasting you know what's in a context what happened we have thousands of the person name right but what we are doing Instead of sending the message to the each and every person, we are sending the message to the particular group. That is called as a multicasting. Let me show you the first thing, how we can identify your traffic, unicast, multicast, and broadcast. Pipe. Right, and uh, take one switch over there. Router one, router number two, we have a router number three, we have a router number four. And we have a router number five. This guy to this guy. This guy to this guy. This one to this one. And this one to this one. Right? Start. What I'm going to do, I'm just going to assign the IP address of this person will be. One to one to one to one. This guy will be one to one to five. This guy will be one to one to six. Sorry, two. This guy will be one to one to three. And this guy will be one to one to four. Right. So all we have IPs addresses there on this particular interface, right? So let's do one thing. Let me take a console. I'm just trying to explain you, right? What is the unicast, multicast, and broadcast, and whatever the packets we have, right? Or the structure of the packets. 
then we'll see the what are the problems with the unicast what are the problems with the multicast and then sorry broadcast and then why we introduce the multicast R3, I don't need R5. R1, right? On R1, I need to give the IP address on this particular interface. Interface 0 slash 0, 1 or 1 or 1, IP address 1 slash 8. No shut down. All good. R2, interface 0 slash 0, IP address will be 1 or 2 slash 8. No shut down. And R3, interface 0 slash 0, IP address will be 1 or 3. No shut down and R4 interface zero slash zero. Interface interface zero slash interface zero slash zero IP address will be one over four. No shut down. And R5 we have interface zero slash zero IP address will be one over five. And say that no shut down. All done. Now, have a look. I'll just capture this particular ring, right? And on a R1, if you see, if I set the ping 1 over 2, what happened in this case? I'm sending a unicast packet, right? And in this unicast packet, if you see, my MAC address is complete unicast. Source MAC address, even my destination MAC address is a complete unicast. Source IP is complete unicast and the destination IP is complete unicast. Now do one thing. I'll take a sneak of this guy. Now I'm trying to paste over there so that you can easily differentiate this all these packets. Right, let's paste it over there. Unicasting. So this is the unicast. It's a one-to-one -one communication, right? Add this in the packet. Your source MAC, distance MAC, source IP, and distance IP is complete unicast. And by default, the layer two, this is my layer two information, the layer two is also unicast. And layer three also will be unicast. And how many packets we are sending in unicasting in Cisco CLI? By default, we are sending up five packets. Right? If I'm going to talk about the broadcasting, right? If I'm going to talk about the broadcasting, what happened in the broadcasting? As of the ping, the right, I will get the reply from the every person, right? The four person we have in my broadcast domain. Capture this link, request. I'll take a capture, sniff. this guy and uh, I'll put the broadcast broadcast was one to all right this is my broadcast packet and this is my request packet What will be the reply over there? If you see the reply, I'm just taking one of the reply, right? Not the all of them. My reply will be unicast. I'm just trying to explain you the difference between the, all the packets request is a broadcast and reply will be unicast and how many packets we are sending. By default, we are sending the five packets.
in this case in the unicast communication what happened the source this packet is right this packet is a unicast the icmp request packet right your reply also will be a unicast if you just have a look the previous one output this is going to top side click on this guy capture snip and all good to go can you see that this reply message also unicast so this is unicast and this is also unicast all good how many packets i'm sending five packets in the unicasting and broadcasting how many packets i'm sending five packets my source mac is unicast but destination mac is what broadcast my source ip is unicast but destination ip is what broadcast this is my request packet that will be do, do the broadcasting whereas if i'm going to talk about the reply packet right my reply packet is what it's a unicast can you see the mac address it means that it means that if r1 is making a broadcasting what happened they will send this broadcast packet to this guy this guy this guy this guy and this guy what happened this guy will create a reply packet in the reply what happens source will be r5 and destination will be r1 this guy will create the reply packet source will be r4 destination will be r1 this guy will create the reply packet source will be r3 reply will be sorry destination will be r1 this guy will create the source uh, packet source will be r2 and reply will be r1 guys one minute So this is how, guys. This is how the router one is creating a broadcast packet. So in this case, what our source MAC will be what? Take example, this guy R1, and distance will be FM. So I'm sending a only one packet, right? Take example, if I'm just put the ping 1.255.255.255 and repeat count one, I'm sending a one packet, but I'm getting the reply, right? The four reply I'm getting, whatever the peoples are present in my domain. And all this packet will be unicast, 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 right? And how many packets I'm sending by default? Five, right? If I'm going to talk about the multicasting, what I can do right now, I'm just going to run the router EHRP number one, network 0000, zero, zero, zero. router EHRP number two, network 0000, zero, zero. router EHRP number three, sorry, one, zero, 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 zero. And router four, router EHRP number. This guy. I'm not going to run the EHRP on this person right now. Not EHRP. EHRP on this guy, this guy, this guy, and this guy. So try to understand. Try to understand one thing over there. In this particular group, right? The group name is what? Two two. Four dot zero zero ten, right? Charge goes back. Share goes back. Great, man. Ah, it's fine, fine. Come, come. So now in this group, what happened? We have a which router? Router one we have. Router number two we have. 
Router number three we have, and router number four we have. All these user are present in this particular loop, right? So what happened? Try to understand if I'm going to ping right from here. Hey, two two four dot zero 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 ten, right? What happened? In this case, I will say the source IP will be what one one, and destination will be what two two four dot zero zero ten, right? How many packets I'm going to send? Single packet. So what happened? This guy will send the single packet to the switch. Switch will send the packet to this guy, this guy, and this guy. What happened? Only this person will give the reply. This person will give the reply, and this person will give the reply. Not to the this guy, because R5 is not a part of this particular group. R5 is not a part of this particular group. So R5 will never give the reply. So if you just have a look right now, ping on R1, ping 224.0.0.10, right? If you see, so IP interface 0 slash 0, they will join the 224.0.10 group. That's a EHRP multicast, right? And if I'm just going to ping, only this particular person will give the reply. Which person? The R2, R3, and R4, because R5, I haven't enabled the EHRP. So if you just have a look, the message over this guy, stop this person. Can you see how many requests I'm sending? Only one, right? How many reply I'm getting? Three replies. The request will be multicast, right? Dot 10, the reply will be unicast. Right, so if you just do one thing, just open this guy, have a MAC address of this person, sorry, a screenshot of this guy. Paste in the paint, and this is my multicast communications. Multicast means one to, not one to, one to group. Reply packet. Can you see? Request. Reply. Right, and if you see the this guy now, I'm not in this message right now. How many packets I'm sending over there? If you see my request packet is complete in multicasting, source MAC is this guy, destination MAC is the IPv4 multicasting. I'll let you know how this MAC address is calculated. Don't worry about that. Source IP is unicast, destination multicast, but my reply packet is a complete unicasting. Now, try to understand one thing. If you see the difference, how many packets I'm sending in unicasting? Five. How many packets I'm sending in the broadcasting? Five. How many packets I'm sending in the multicasting? One. I'm just trying to make a difference over there and so that you can analyze the things, right? 
the things that you have to analyze over there try to understand we have one server right over there okay take any channels or we can say that this is the netflix server right okay this router we have of course the netflix server has a connectivity to the switch in between the switch have a router and then router has a connectivity to the isp right then isp has a connectivity to another router then another router has a connectivity with the isp and then this router has a connectivity with this router and this router also has a connectivity with this router now okay and then after I have some user, right? Take example. Okay. Looks good, right? Okay, we have an in-between switch, right? In between. Draw your Right here also we have a switch. Okay. Now try to understand R1, ISP, R2, R3, ISP. Try to understand this user, right? This user wants to see the Netflix. Right, the bandwidth of this particular link will be two Mbps. Not we'll make it easy 10 Mbps, 10 Mbps, 10 Mbps. Right, try to understand if this person, if this guy wants to see some movie, right? What happened? They will make a request, Hey, I want to see the movie. So Netflix server will give the stream to the other guy, right? Netflix server will give the stream or we can say the traffic to the other guy. So what happened? In this case, I'm consuming a two Mbps bandwidth. Of course, this is the unicast happening, right? Then after that, what happened? This guy said, hey, also I want to see some movie. Take it. I'm going to give the two embrace for this guy's less because still what happened? This guy's a interest. After some time, I also want to see some movie. Unicasting. Later on. And later on, this guy also interested to watch some movie, right? What happened? Almost 10 MPS has finished now. Done. Now tell me if Swami comes in the picture. Swami said, hey, I also want to see some movie, right? In that case, what happened? <laughs> hey, this guy said, oh, sorry, sorry, I don't have a located bandwidth, right? This guy saying, hey, I want to see the movie, right? Give me the movie as well as, give me some stream as well. I want to see some movie, right? What happened? This server saying, hey, I don't want to have available. This link as does not have available bandwidth, right? Because already we have allocated for this user, this user, this user, this user. 10 MPS has finished now. So in that case, what happened? This user will not get the any stream in unicasting, the problem. The problem of the unicast, we have a one-to-one -one communications. I'm not denying it, unicasting is bad, right? Depend on the requirement. In this requirement, we have a Netflix server. 
on Netflix, I will need to say, send the stream, right? So if we have a multiple user, in that case, what happened? They need to create the multiple packets. If they have multiple users, they need to get the multiple packets. <coughs> so uh, unicasting, this is not a good solution. In this case, because in the unicasting, what happened? We have a bandwidth issues. We have a bandwidth issues. Second thing is that what? We have a lots of packet. Can you imagine if you have a 10,000 user, how many packet they will send? And that 10,000 user is not a big deal, right? If you have a 10,000 user, right? You need to create a 10,000 separate packet. That's not a big deal, but it will create a lots of issues, right? Because in unicasting, what happened? I have to create a separate packet for each person. I have to create a separate packet for each person. So unicast is not a good solution. So then after that, what happened? They introduced the concept of broadcasting. Unicast was not. Then after that, they introduced the concept of broadcasting. In broadcasting, what happened? Try to understand. Tell me one thing. If this guy has IP addressing, this interface has IP addressing 101, right? And this interface I'm talking about, right, is 101. And if this guy will create a broadcast packet, source will be what? MAC address A, distance of MAC address B, FFF, source IP 101, distance IP 255. Tell me, will this PC will get the IP address? Uh, will this PC will get the stream over there? If this guy will send the stream. How many people are thinking this PC will get the stream? Yeah, it's supposed to get. That one wow. and three is what's that? The one and three is a router or? Of course, this is the router. You. It's not look like a router. It's a look like a router. Okay. Anyone else? Where Jadip Mahendar? Uh, Swami, so uh, 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 again. I said that uh, when this server is sending this packet, in this packet, what a source packet is A, distance packet is FFF, source IP 101, distance IP 255. When this server will send this packet to the router, will the router will send this packet to the other guy? No, sir. It won't write. It won't broadcast Why? domain. Because Good. the router, right? Yeah, so that means, guys, that was yeah. router break the broadcast domain. So router will never forward the broadcast packet by default. By default. The DBR by default again, I can't do guys. Guys, do you know why this thing reason is happening? Why the broad router does not send the broadcast packet? Just because of direct broadcast forwarding is disabled. Just because direct broadcast forwarding is disabled. You can enable this thing as well. If you're going to enable this thing, now router is going to forward the broadcast packet. You just go on the interface and say that IP forward, IP directed broadcast. Now do so IP interface 0 slash 0. My interface has the ability to receive the broadcast packet and forward the broadcast packet.
but how many person is thinking this is the correct solution this is never a desirable solution this is never a desirable solution because try to understand first of all what we have to do you need to enable right you need to enable that for forwarding enable on every interface of router and can you imagine where the netflix server is present even i don't know even i don't know where the netflix is present and take example take example if you are going to enable the broadcasting right you have enable the broadcasting on this particular interface this 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 interface now try to understand on this netflix server swami is watching the movie that name is how much care hai koi mil gaya this movie is in which language hindi right not try to understand when the server will send this packet to the frame oh, sorry uh, multi uh, stream to the router router broadcast capability is enable what they will do send this to the isp right this isp will send, uh, this router will also send to the r3 what happen in this case only this user is interested to receive the multicast uh, sorry this user is only interested to receive the traffic right because this is swami so i want to see the koi mil gaya right but what happened they when they also getting right service provider will send this information to the r2 r2 will send this information to the r4 in this case what happened ron is saying that hey i am also getting the koi mil gaya i am not able to understand this language try to understand the behavior of the broadcasting what's happening over there you are sending this packet to the every person right Can you imagine this ISP belong to the China? China guy is saying that hey, I am not able to understand this packet. Why should I entertain this packet? First of all, you need to enable the broadcasting on every interface, right? Or you also going to enable the broadcasting. What happened? Every person is going to receive this packet. Every single person. What China guy is going to do with this packet now? Take example. your uh, uh, g5 uh, g5 is going to do right g5 that's belong to the indian right indian channel this channel traffic will go to the this isp and this isp as well as china will say that, hey i am not able to understand so what do you think is broadcasting is good it's still not broadcasting is also not a good solution man because only if this person wants to receive the uh, see the movie this person is also getting 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 everyone is doing the broadcasting and uh, and this broadcasting you are doing on the wan side can you imagine if you uh, if you remember the unknown unicast flooding and the arp concept right in the lay to the broadcast packet in the lay to segment if you are doing the broadcasting that is not a good solution right so to avoid that problem we limit the broadcast by using the vlan but on the wan side you are going to enable the broadcasting what problem will happen never ever desirable solution so bhai baat yahan ye aa rahi hai bilkul aake mini casting right and broadcasting ye to do ho gaya fail then after some time right then to avoid this problem
to avoid this problem one person comes in the picture that guy name is Derek. this was this guy was an engineer right they introduced the concept of multicasting and see the behavior that's why i that's why i made a difference between this structure right can you see that this structure i show you in a multicasting what happened first of all the good benefit of the multicast i am not making your huge amount of packet i am just creating a single packet first benefit instead of creating a instead of creating a five i'm creating a one second thing i'm only going to send this multicast packet only for the group not for the all so if i'm going to enable the multicasting on the this router this router this service provider and this router this router this router only this person is going to enter in the multicast packet not to the other guy because ip routing is by default enabled and ip routing is going to enable the unicasting and broadcasting as well as but multicasting is by default disable on the router so they introduced the concept of what the dating uh, dating person uh, this guy's name is dating they introduced the concept of multicasting to avoid the issue of the unicast and broadcast they introduced the concept of multicast and in the multicasting what happened i am just going to generate the single packet and by generating a single packet what happened whatever the user are interested to receive the multicast traffic they all give the reply so can you see i am just sending one packet and how many reply i'm getting whatever the person are interested to listen to me whatever the person that are listening to me they will give me the reply right i'm sending a single packet So this guy that's you have to wait for the sometime they will the for uh, not today i knew that someone uh, will ask this question you have to wait for this thing just wait for some time i'll explain this part why they get your this thing for right now purpose i'm just going to tell you this part we are sending the multicast traffic in own domain not beyond the domain for th that's understanding right now now what this guy say that steve daring dr steve daring what way yes it will never पता है so in multicasting what happened first of all in multicasting we have a two types of communications 
first we have a not first we can say one we have a land communications right and one we have a van communications for the land communications like same like uh, you have a normal unicasting right when we have a land communication when we have a van communication for, for the land communication we are going to use the protocol that name is igmp internet group management protocol I'm just giving the overview right now i'm not going to teach you the igmp right now it's a very big topic okay another you can use the igmp snooping you can use the cgmp snooping for the van communications we are going to use the pim protocol independent mode or modem multicasting in pim we have a two version not version we can say two modes the mode number 1 will have a dense mode second mode is the spark mode for a very just quick overview what is the dense mode spark mode for a big network we are going to use the dense mode for a small network we are going to use the spark mode another protocol we have that is dbmrp right distance vector routing protocol second we have a mosp multicast was Wahi, LSS six. Now, the good thing about this is not in your syllabus. That's a good thing. Or my No, these are legacy now. Reason I'll tell you. Abhi mat bolo yaar reason. Iska reason bhot lamba ho jayega. This are legacy now. We are not using. We cannot say that legacy is like you know the some of course some some protocol has a good advantage, some disadvantage as well as is there. But I'll tell you why we are not going to use. Don't worry about it. Don't don't put this word right now, right now legacy. It's not so. Okay, I'll let you know why we are not going to use this protocol. Okay, don't worry about it. In your examinations, if I'm going to talk about the routing switching version 5.0, all the labs, this thing was there. Even not the dance mode. Even the dance mode was not there. But yes, multicasting is there, and it's play the very important role. I ye bhot hot hi jata hi jiye bhai. This is so easy. Right. By default, I'll let you know one thing. By default, if you just go on the router side and try to understand each and every single command right now, if you go on the router, the first of all, I'll show you one thing. IP routing. This command is enabled, right? By default. If you just do one thing, do debug. I said no IP routing. What this command is going to do? What this command is going to do? This command is just going to disable the routing on the router. Which routing on the router? IP routing command. This command is by default enable on the router, not on. And what this command is a hidden command.
right? What this command is going to do? This command enable the IP routing, or you can say the unicast routing. Or not? If you disable it, it not a behave like a. Not, they don't have. And you cannot enable any. IP out. Up there. Try to understand. If I'm going to enable, so right now if you see, I don't have a routing enable. So if I'm just going to put the router EHRP command, he's saying IP routing must be enabled for this person. I see the IP routing. What happened? My routing is enabled, and I have a router. I have a routing table, right? By just putting the IP routing command, and by default, this command is enabled. But if you see, you show IP multicast. What this guy is telling you. Multicast is disabled, and if you see, do show IP IGMP interface. IGMP is also disabled. So LAN plus WAN. LAN plus WAN is not working well for the multicasting only. For only for the multicasting. As I told you that, for the LAN communication, we need to enable the IGMP, right? And for the WAN communication, we need to enable the PIM. But before going to enable these two things, right, you first need to enable the multicast routing. This is the mandatory command. I'm telling you one thing. A very, very useful for the troubleshooting purpose. Why if you have a question, of course, law, because this is a very simple command, anyone can enable it. I know this part, guys, but you know what happened? Person forget to configure this command. In examination, I have seen this thing, right? I have seen many person that for, they forget to configure this command. They have configured the IGMP. They have configured the PIM. They did each and everything. And after that, he's saying, hey, I'm not getting the output. A reason, of course, very simple. You need to enable this command. If you're not going to enable this command, listen to me. If you're not going to enable this command, IP multicast routing, I've just, what happened? You can enable the IGMP and you can enable the PIM as well. No issue will happen. But the they will never maintain. M route table. <clears throat> M route table is what multicast starting table. So the basic funda is what first you need to enable the multicasting router. If you're not going to enable, try to understand this part. Okay, understand this diagram, then you will get this picture how this thing is working. एक मेरा राउटर है
this interface. This interface, this interface, and this interface, right? We have a zero slash zero. We have a zero slash one. We have a zero slash two. We have a zero slash three, right? What happened? On this particular subnet, I'm going to use the Sorry, on this particular IP address I'm, uh, interface, I'm going to use the submit 1.0 slash 24. 2.0 slash 24. 3.0 slash 24. And 4.0 slash 24. Right? Router number one. And try to understand if this router is receiving a one packet, right? In this packet, I'm not going to write all the MAC address over there. I'm just going to write the IP addresses. The IP will be of this person will be 101, source IP. Distance IP will be what? R1 has a routing table. Done. This is the R1 routing table. Try to understand if this guy, if R1 is receiving the packet on which interface on 0 slash 2, the default behavior of the router is what? To not forward it. <laughs> it looked up the routing table. For which person? Destination lookup, not the source. It's any forward to AIR. So they will look up the routing table and they will forward the packet to whom? Because on this router, which command is enabled? Okay, IP routing is enabled. Okay. Now, at the same time, this router is using another packet. In this packet, what happened? Source and destination could be what? Multicasting. So guys, try to understand. Class A, Class B, Class C, and Class D for multicasting. And Class A and B, C, what? Unicasting. And Class E for research. Reserved for the research and development purpose. So what is the range of class D? 224.0.0.0 to 239.0.0. So whatever the IP you are going to take in between, they have a class D. And this guy is class D for the multicasting. So when this packet is coming, they have a source IP will be this guy and distance IP will be this guy, right? What they will do? The router say that, hey, I don't have a multicasting is enabled. So this router does not have ability to look up this part, right? Because they don't have a M dot table. They only have a unicasting because IP routing is enabled and that guy is going to maintain unicasting. Do we have M dot table? No. So if the M dot table is not there, I can't do anything. And your packet will be This is how, just because of this thing, right? We need to enable the 
original level. IP multicast. Now, to maintain M dot table and exchange multicast. Also. Yeah, exchange nahi karega. Exchange to so routing program do karega. To maintain the M dot table. And by default, multicasting is disabled. If you see, multicast is disabled. If you see, do so, so IP. Yeah, on R1, on R1, do you have enabled that routing protocol, sir? EIGRP? Normally, EIGRP, yes. But still, multicast routing is showing disabled, is it there? No. मल्टीकास्टिंग मल्टीकास्टिंग And now do so IP I'm not I want to get started but of course you have a question log they don't have any dots so dude I haven't extended any dots. I haven't enabled any IPs over there right now till this point so that's why they don't have any dots. but yeah multicast starting is enabled now this router has the ability if they will receive the packet they will follow the packet if they will receive the packet they will follow the packet which packet multicast you know multicast one thing you have to remember only one packet you are sending second thing destination always will be a multicast aaj ke liye not Okay, guys, do you need to paint this paint file? Anyone? Or me? Yes, sir. You can add it in the drive. You'll, you'll create a new drive for multicast, right? Yeah, I'm going to create a new drive for the multicast new folder. I'll put it over there. Okay. Acha, oh, okay. You do one thing, na. Then when that you upload the multicasting video, I'll send you this uh, this picture in the WhatsApp group. Okay. All good, guys. Then see you tomorrow. Bye bye. Tomorrow you all comes up regular, right? Why they are following the packet? Yes, G R P N. This thing, right? Don't worry. Okay. Thank you. Thank you, guys. Thank you.